college is exhausting. Getting to college is just as tough. It's a hard test. It's very stressful. A new report from the ACT shows scores are down across the U.S. this year for the sixth year in a row. The average composite score for the class of 2023 was 19.5, down from last year's 19.8. Donna Anderson. I did take the ACT, yes, in high school. Is a sophomore at DU studying finance. She did not yeah. submit her <laughs> ACT score when she applied. I was scared to submit it. I thought that it would affect my ability to get into college. Colorado public schools and universities have not required incoming freshmen to submit ACT or SAT scores since 2021. A change that Derek DeBose with DU Admissions says helps students. If your test is reflective of who you are, yes, submit it. But if it's not, feel free to not submit that test at all and we will still evaluate you and how you best represent yourself. Post-colonialism and Edward Said, so. Hallie Fadel moore is a sophomore who says she is more than a standardized test score. Doing extracurriculars, like being involved, um, like having an interest, having a good work ethic are all important parts of coming to college and much more reflective of like students uh, than test scores. While the national average is down, DU is seeing ACT scores go up. In 2020, 23% of DU applicants did not submit their ACT scores. For those who did submit their score, the average score was 29. In 2023, 62% of DU applicants did not submit their ACT scores. For those who did submit their score, the average score was 30. Because students are self-selecting to submit their tests, you're going to see a quality of student, or I should say a quality of test score, that tends to trend a little bit higher. Some say that might be the reason scores across the country are down. Why would they try to study for it or try to get a good score on something that's never going to matter? One thing that cannot be measured with the test or a number, how hard Donna worked to get here. Yes, I love DU, yeah.